Hey everybody, welcome to Hit or Die Podcast, episode 33. Uh, we're here with our very own uh, Marcus Walden uh, out of Central High School. Uh, were you a three or four year letterman there? Uh, three. Three year? Jake, take it over for a sec. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> Chad's a little under the weather. Yeah, he is. Uh, dude, thanks for coming out, man, I, or letting us come to you guys Yeah. and uh, use your facility. Uh, we like to start back where, where it all began. Central, um, you played for Pat, Pat Ware, right? Pat Ware was my coach my sophomore, junior year. And how was that from, from Central and then even you know, talk about getting into City, what options you had, and, and even what Valley Baseball was like at the time? No, I mean, our, our Valley, the track was really good at the time. We had some big-time guys. We had Ryan Cook was there for a little while with Clovis High. Yep. We had Justin Wilson was pitching on that Buchanan. Um, that was my sophomore, junior year. We had a pretty good team out at Central. Uh, playing middle infield with my brother was one of the best things that, that happened for me. That was a pretty good year with me, my sophomore year. My brother playing as a senior. Uh, junior year, we ended up being pretty good. We were, I think we ended up losing to Buchanan both years, my sophomore, junior year in the semis. Um, and then my senior year, a lot of my, my guys that I've been playing with my whole career ended up heading out. <clears throat> going to Fresno City, and then that senior year, I kind of knew that's where I wanted to play. Uh, watch my brother there, watch the culture there. Um, I still try to get back to Fresno City once or twice a year and just see what's going on, man. And I, I love the coaches there. Um, not a whole lot of options coming out of high school, honestly. I had one offer from a team from in Pennsylvania somewhere, but nothing, nothing that was that was standing out to me. Uh, ended up going to Fresno City. Wanted to be. Wanted to be on the back end of their bullpen. I knew I wanted to throw one or two innings at a time, uh, air it out and let it go, and ended up working out pretty good for me. Yeah. When you, you know, coming out of high school, you say there's not a lot of offers. I know maybe it's been true even in years past, but I know especially now, like, some guys look at that as, you know, they failed. You know, did you did you take that as like, whatever, I'm just going to go to city and get my work in and do what I got to do? It didn't phase you at all? No, not really. Uh out of high school, I played shortstop my whole life. I didn't really pitch. I pitched, I think, 30 innings my senior year in high school. And that was it. So I knew I had to start with getting as many innings as possible. I threw a lot in the, I threw a lot in the winter. I probably threw 25, 30 innings in fall ball that year. Just get my arm going, trying to become a reliever, trying to learn how to throw, how to pitch. Uh, mechanically, I was so screwed up. I mean, I didn't know it at the time, but I was so screwed up. It ended up changing my career in the long haul. But... That was something I just wanted to keep keep pitching, keep working, gaining velocity, obviously. That was the one thing that I knew would get me out of college baseball. I wanted to go play professional baseball. That was all I really cared about, even when I was 10, 11, 12 years old, wanting a chance. That's all you can ask for. You get a chance, now you're able to play as long as you can. So wait a second. <laughs> In high school, you mainly played infield. All I played was infield. I, I was <laughs> starting shortstop my sophomore year. You go to City... So you and your brother played side by side for one or two years? One year. Rob played second. I played short. And then a little bit into the year, I ended up moving to third. He ended up moving back to short. You, uh, so you go into city with the mindset that you're going to pitch? Oh, yeah. And I mean, obviously, Coach Solberg, somebody figured something out because you were only there a year. That's it. Yeah. That kind of might have <clears throat> played out a little bit, not knowing that they kind of knew you were going back to school. So it's kind of like, we want this guy. Here's. Here's what you're gonna get. Take it or leave it. Yeah, um, that's I didn't even know that that you didn't even pitch in high school. But that's what I'm saying. That's insane. And this is now because Monday we talked to Eager, a position player kind of turned pitcher. Oh, happens all the time. Happens in pro ball all the time. And, but I mean that quick. Kenley Jansen. That well, yeah, that's true. Kenley Jansen yeah. was a catcher yeah. on the Netherlands team. Yep. Four yeah. years later, he's a closer for the Dodgers. There's some videos out there. Him, it's Come pretty on. insane watching him behind the dish. Too. 98 like, behind the dish. Freaking cannon. Yeah. You can do it. I just think just to have that quick success, you know, you, you turn it into something. I mean, you were a top 10 with ninth round pick. Ninth round. I mean, in a year, that's why I'm saying. Yeah, he, but go to <clears throat> talking about that for our listeners out there. It didn't just happen. No. Right. It didn't happen. He he went with the mindset of I'm going to be a pitcher. I'm probably going to come out of the pin. I got to work as hard as I can to become the best reliever on this staff. Yeah. Um. So it wasn't like, oh, you're going to pitch go out there and just throw and you did good as good as you did and you get drafted he had to put in the work you know learning a whole new position and it's not like 
pitching is so easy. It's different, like yeah. going from second base or shortstop to outfield. Oh yeah, you know, so, shortstop <clears throat> to second base was the worst mistake I ever did for three months of my life. <laughs> I couldn't do it, you know. But pitching wise, I mean, I've always I was gifted with a good arm. Obviously, I had a good arm throwing across the field. But when I started pitching, I was 86, 88. It was actually Tom Donald is the one that walking into my senior year, I go to a uh, area code tryout or something. Hey, anybody want to throw the seventh inning? I do. 88, 90. I'm a pitcher. Let's go. You know, my, and my brother was talking to me. I got an older brother. And talking to him, talking to Brian. Hey, let, let's try to get on the mound. Let's see what you got. See what you got. All right. So I worked that summer. Pitched a little bit in high school, obviously, 30 innings or so. And walked into Fresno City with uh, probably about 60, 65 innings under my belt. Not a whole lot, no, obviously. No. But arm speed's getting better. I was in September, October. We had some big scout days, I guess you would say, or, or fall camp, and I was 92 to 95. And I kind of knew I was going to get drafted at that time. I didn't know where. But I knew if I got drafted, I was going. Give me a chance, I'm gone. I remember my last final for Fresno City. I called my agent at the time, or my advisor at the time. Hey, I don't care if they offer me five grand. I'm going. No, 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 no. You can't tell them that. I said, I, that's my last final. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do this. If I have an opportunity to go play pro ball, I'm going. Because then that's when the journey starts, obviously. Yeah. Long journey from there. But long, that, <laughs> long journey for you. But that's where that, that you want to start that journey, right? I mean, that was my mindset even growing up. If I got a chance, I'm going to take it. from there blue jays and just kind of go from high school to pitching for the uh, the rams and then now you're pitching minor league baseball correct yeah so What's I, the, just the difference and now how to react that you're only a freshman so now you're 18 19 still I was 18 years old. yeah you're young I, I tried out for my junior college team at 17 yeah so i mean i graduated 17 went out there i was 18 years old it was i signed right away they offered me what I wanted. I asked for $100,000. They said, we'll give you $100,000, all your school, three and a half years of school paid. Deal. Let's go. So I get out there, go out for mini camp. I got a plane flight and a hotel address. That's all I got. I got no clue what I'm doing. My dad's like, hey, we'll see you. All right. I mean, we can step up. Let's go. <laughs> get on the plane. Get out there. I'm in Dunedin, Florida. This is... June 20th, roughly 2007, and I get out there, and I'm in a world of shock. I've never seen some stuff like this. Full locker room, never done the whole locker room transaction issues going on. Um, but it was it was a blast. I ended up meeting some two dudes from Canada I lived with and a guy from Australia. Josh Wells, uh, Cuthbertson, and Michael Lynch. And even when I go up to Toronto now, I still hit up Lynch and talk to him. But a good group of dudes were my very first year. We got an apartment, and dudes just hit the ground running, going. How's that being 18, living on your own, having to grow up? Oh, yeah. Having to know, you know, what I got to pay for this month and all that. Yeah, I mean, you're doing the whole thing. I mean, we – luckily, I kind of slid in with them. They had the place from two months previously. Um, So it was was pretty easy on that transaction. But, I mean, the guy from Australia never lived a day at a home. You know, he couldn't, he couldn't cook, clean, do laundry, couldn't do, I mean, we're talking life skills. And I was fortunate enough that my parents let me move out even when I did go to Fresno City. So I was in the same city, but I lived on my own, kind of understood what was going on. Still 18 years old, still a kid, but I'm going to go eat Taco Bell at the time. You know, I wasn't going to cook, cook in my house. But as you got older and as obviously those transactions, you know, those years move on, we had six guys living in a two-bedroom apartment. I did that my first four years. You know, I didn't get my own room until double A. Four okay. walls and a door. <laughs> Bro, that took me seven years. I was I was in the living room for the first six. But I mean that, those are the, the, the small stuff that people don't talk about on the minor league side. Yeah. So.